G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, also known as Stazza85 from the Minecraft forums. Today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to enable depths of field back into Continuum. This should work for pretty much every version that doesn't have depths of field in it. The reason why it's not in there anymore is that it was taking frame rate even though it wasn't enabled. So anyway, let's get to it. Alright, so first you'll need to download the continuum shader that you want to be using. In this case I'll be using the preview 2. Uh, once you've done that, put it in your Minecraft shaders folder. Once you've done that, double click on the zip file. Make sure to create a new version. In this case I'm going to call it depth of field. Once you've done that, drag and drop the shaders folder into your newly created folder. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder and right click on final.fsh and edit with notepad++. Once you've done that, scroll down to line 72 and remove the two forward slashes from uniform float center depth smooth. Now this function here is to smooth out the blur over time so it's not an instant transition. This is actually the cause of the frame rate drop which is why we've disabled depth of field. Just having this in here actually takes off about 10 frames a second so this, this is why it's no longer available but you'll need it if you want to use depth of field. Alright next scroll down to line 225 and remove the forward slash and the star. Next you want to go down to line 303 and do the same. Lastly you want to come down to here lines 2237 through to 2239. Now you've got two options here. One is that you can simply remove those two and it'll be enabled or you can double click on the depth of field, control C, come up here, hashtag define space control V. And this way you'll actually be able to enable or disable the feature within the game itself. So once you've done that, hit save and we can check it out in Minecraft. So once you're back in Minecraft, you can just hit escape, videos, shaders, and click on your preview to depth of field and now it should be working and as you can see it's a nice smooth transition uh, one last thing that you might want to do as well is in the shaders options change your hand depth to two times by default it's on one and as you can see the block in my hand is really quite blurry. This is in 1.8.9. I'm sure it's the same for 1.9. Uh, change that to 2 and there you go. Now if you set up the define as well, when you come into shaders you can go into shaders options. It'll be under misc. Uh, that's where any ones that haven't been pre-assigned to these other tabs will go. So go to misc. There it is, depth of field right there. You can hit it, turn it off, and it'll no longer be on. That would be the best way I recommend. Uh, but please note that enabling depth of field, you will lose close to 10 to 15 FPS. It's a pretty intensive feature. We are going to be looking into a better way of doing it later on. So yeah, then if you want to re-enable it, just in the shaders, miss, depth of field, enabled, and you're good to go again. Also, depth of field will not work if you're using motion blur. It's either one or the other. So there you go, I hope this uh, video was some use to you, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.